Hey guys, Marlo back again with yet another video. This time it's of the 1-6 scale Infernal Clockwork Man figure by... Who did make this? I don't even know. Tit Toys. Oh my god, so Tit Toys. So 1-6 scale collectible action figure. Give you a look at the box. Well, I guess that's supposed to be an eye. Infernal. Supposed to be Infernal Clockwork Men. So again, this is a, uh, I don't want to say really bootleg, but a uh, unlicensed figure of, obviously, the Cronin character from the Hellboy movie. So, here we have it. Infernal Clockwork Men. Oh, I guess they put an L there too, so what do you know? Decent art, pretty cool. And let's take a look at the box here. I guess it's, hmm, how do you open this up? Alright, so I got the box open here. Pretty thick cardboard. So let's top and let's take a quick look at it inside. A little note here, what does it say? To easily remove the hand, heat it for about with a hair dry dayer, hair dayer to soften it. Yeah, I don't know. Pretty much it's, uh, you know, to remove the hand, heat it for about, I don't know, probably a few minutes with a hair dryer to soften it. But uh, you can see right there that's <laughs> more or less what it, what it says. So. Here you have some extra hands. Hmm. This kind of reminds me of uh, the Hot Toys Joker hands. They might be a uh, cast it off of that, perhaps. And here we have his hat. It's all right. And I picked up this figure because I never did get the sideshow version. And I wanted this guy to go along with my Hot Toys Hellboy and Abe Sapien. So I never did, like I said, get the sideshow version, which I was planning to get. But the prices on that guy are a bit high. And for a little bit less, I was able to get this guy. I think he came out to about 130 135 from... Um, Monkey Depot and I think the details are a little bit better since this is a more recent release so look at the details on that that's pretty freaky that's kinda cool wow and overall the materials look pretty nice kinda thick Leather material. So let me put him aside, see what else this guy comes with. I know there's more to this guy. Ah, there underneath. Oops. We have his weapons. Ooh, this is cool. These are made of uh, actual metal, so that's kind of neat. So, metal blades there. Wow, really heavy too. Uh, what is this? Uh, his dagger, that comes out. This is all plastic though. Some of his other accessories. Looks like his armband. Some other straps. Pistol. This is all plastic too, but wow, look at that. Pretty good details there. <clears throat> His belt. And I guess this is the holster for the pistol. And of course the trench coat there. Again, a really thick, pleathery type material. So hopefully this will look good once I place it on the figure and it won't look too uh, 
too bulky and uh, I don't know, kind of poofy. Uh, that's what I'm kind of worried about. It might look a little puffy and might not get that more natural look, especially you know in this one six scale. So we'll see. Let me try to put this guy together and give you guys another look. Alright guys, and here we have the Clockwork Man Cronin figure with most of his accessories on. Let me give you a better look at him. So I switched the head. This is the masked or helmeted head. And I put the collar on there. You can straighten that out a little bit better. I just sort of quickly put that on there. Um, this thing is kind of bothering me. It's only a sticker so this looks like it's already starting to peel off I wish it was printed on I might have to add some adhesive to that so it doesn't come off you can see there it kinda starts to lift off a little bit so that's kind of annoying um, the straps hopefully I did them right so if you guys get this guy and are wondering about how to apply the straps you can take a look at what I did here there's no instructions in the box unfortunately and not too many images. I mean, there's just the illustration there, so that doesn't help too much. So uh, you can see there how I did that. And along the back. Again, I don't even know if I did it correctly, but it looks good to me, so hopefully that's right. The holster there with the gun inside. And let me set him aside and give you guys a good look at him standing up. Next to the box. And his remaining accessories, which I will put on next. The trench coat. Some extra hands there. The hat, which I tried to put on, but it's not quite fitting right. So I don't know if I need to play with this a little bit. Stretch it out. Or do something else. The blades. I'll have to pop the hands off to add those. And again, the head that it came with. You can see there, I'll try to focus in on it, give you guys another quick look. And... That's about it. Let me try to get the trench coat on with the hat and the blades and give you a final look at this figure. Alright, and here's the Cronin figure with the trench coat on. A little bit tricky to get on because the leather on the uh, inner jacket and the trench coat are a little bit thick. So it's going to take a little bit of work to get that on. Um, it might be easier to pop the hands off and apply the blades. Um, let's see. Maybe pop the hands on first. Uh, apply the uh, trench coat. And then when you... Uh, reapply the hands you can uh, you know add the blades and then pop the hands on to hold the blades in place um, to take the hands off it's a little bit hard because the plastic is a little stiff so they recommend heating it up with a blow dryer so that's what I did so just heat it up a little bit to uh, soften it and they should pop off fairly easily after that um, another thing to note is the armband I just went ahead and took it off the uh, inner jacket because as you can see it's really starting to peel off and I'm sure while applying the trench coat it'd probably mess it up a little bit more and there's no need to have it since uh, you can't see it anyways um, and for me the hat again was tricky it doesn't quite stay on by itself again you might want to rework that but I simply rec uh, remedied that by applying some tape and just kind of sticking it on there to hold it in place at least for the sake of this video or if you want you can do it for your display too um, just enough to hold it down so let me give you a quick look at that again you could rework the hat if you want to bring it down a little bit lower I don't know if that looks funny to you guys but at least it's staying on there because otherwise yeah, it doesn't stay on very well. It's a tight fit, so it keeps popping off. And then the bladed hands. Oh, and one more thing. These buttons, 
they pop off fairly easily so while grabbing onto the figure and working things on um, a couple buttons did pop off they feel like they're metallic so they have a little bit of weight to them so uh, be careful of that when you're handling this figure I simply uh, had to super glue them back on and that seemed to have done the trick pretty good but keep an eye on those you don't want them to fall off and get lost because that's going to be pretty upsetting but overall a pretty nice figure for those of you who missed the sideshow version and would like to complete your Hellboy 1-6 scale collection um, I wish I had my Hot Toys uh, Hellboy and uh, Abe Sapien with me but they're in storage it would be nice to see them side by side to see the scale but for the meantime hopefully you enjoyed the video it's a great deal if you ask me for about hundred thirty dollars not sure about his availability at the time of you guys viewing the video but um, I picked mine up at Monkey Depot and I'm sure he's probably on eBay at least for a while so take a look hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching keep on collecting guys subscribe if you haven't already take care bye bye